Hey, how you doing out there again? It's Oz. Been a while since I made a video. Want to make a new one. Uh, so I'm going to do a couple reviews. There's a few uh, things I've been wanting to review and I haven't had a chance to. Been too busy with so many things going on with my life these days. Um, but uh, I do want to review a few things. So I'm going to make a few videos. You probably see me wearing the same clothes in all the videos, but oh well. Anyway, so today what I want to talk about is these jeans. These are Scorpion Covert Pro jeans. So they're motorcycle jeans made to look like regular jeans, okay? And I recently bought them because, uh, you know, I'm riding my bike again. It's been a, I took a little break, but now I'm back to riding. And I want to review them. Uh, as I've been riding more and more these days, you know, I get on the freeway a lot. I go on fast highways. So I felt I needed a little bit more protection than your average jeans. And I was looking around, but I still wanted a uh, pair of jeans that looked like normal jeans. You know, I didn't want something that looked kind of weird or like you're landing in Mars or something like that. So I bought these. And there's two types of scorpion jeans. Well, there's a bunch of uh, pants, but there's two types of scorpion jeans. There's the scorpion covert, which is the regular kind of jeans with some Kevlar. And then there's the Scorpion uh, Covert Pro, which is this one, which has Kevlar inside, and it has this material outside called Kodura, which is not denim, it's Kodura. It's kind of like a, it, it sort of feels like a little bit like a tent, like the tent kind of feeling. If you ever touched a tent, uh, it has that kind of uh, burlap kind of feel. I don't know if burlap's the word I'm looking for, but, you know, kind of a... a um, I don't know, it's like a very thick kind of fabric kind of feel. So it's n even though it looks like jeans, and probably you're looking on the, the screen there going, eh, those look like jeans to me. They're actually kind of this weird material called covert, coverta, covert, I already forgot the name. Kudura, sorry, Kudura. Um, and basically, when you, if you were to crash or fall or, or skid on the, the asphalt, they offer more protection than regular denim. So, for instance, if you got the regular Scorpion Covert jeans, you would still have protection because you got Kevlar all over your butt and, and your front, and but you don't, um, you still would have denim. It's still regular jean material. So, as you, if you were to crash and you were to slide, there's a chance that that denim part would at least start ripping. With this Cordura, uh, not that it wouldn't rip, but it would take a lot more for it to rip. So it's more, a little bit more protection. And I was reading this guy's review online, and he was saying that he crashed. He slid across the asphalt, and this, these jeans, he was wearing them, they, they protected him so well that he just got up and, you know, was okay, basically. So anyway, basically, um, there is also padding here and on the hips if you buy the padding, which is extra. So for instance, I don't have the padding. So this is just all Oz right here. But they are still uh, protected by Kevlar and the Cordura, so you still got protection. But if you want that little extra, you probably want to buy the, the padding. I have heard they'll mix reviews about it. I probably will eventually get the padding, but uh, right now I feel pretty comfortable with the jeans the way they are. Uh, so, you know, uh, let me get some in my back pocket here. Let me take that out. So um, basically this is it. The only thing I want to uh, also make clear about is the sizing. Um, on online, they always say go one size bigger, but I don't recommend that at all. I got uh, a size bigger jeans, and I look ridiculous. Look like a clown. So I got my normal size. Now, yes, you got to suck in your stomach a bit. It's tight. It's not like loosey goosey. It's loosey goosey down here, but not loosey goosey around your waist. But I think it looks better. See, look at that. Yeah, I think it looks better. If I, I wish I still I made a video with the other jeans because they were just baggy as hell, you know. Um, as everybody who watches my videos knows, I tend to wear tall boots, and Wesco's is my favorite one for motorcycle riding. I, I just like them, so of course, as usual, I'm wearing my Wesco's. But uh, if you're a person that doesn't wear tall boots and you want to wear regular size boots, of course, you can with these. And I'm going to try on some regular boots so you can see what they look like with regular boots. So let me give, you, give me a second here. Okay, so as you can see, I now I'm wearing regular size boots with the pants over the boots and I still think they look pretty classy the only thing I would say is uh, it seems like it took me a little effort to put the jeans over the boots but not a big deal um, and of course they still offer you protection because Kodura goes all the way down to the bottom there so um, pretty nice pants I would uh, definitely recommend it now the only thing is other than the sizing situation 
And so I, once again, buy your normal size jeans that you wear at with your Levi's, okay? So uh, if you're a size 34 and wear 34, don't buy 36, okay? However, only with the Kudura. Now, if you're going to buy the, I mean, the uh, Covert Pro, if you're going to buy the regular co Covert, the Scorpion Covert regular one, not the Pro, then buy one size bigger. I am going to be buying the Covert because, unfortunately, the Pro uh, uh, does not come in black. It's only blue and stone wash. I got dark blue because I, you know, I tend to like darker colors, but I was disappointed they don't have a black. However, Scorpion Covert, the non-pro one, the one that's denim with, um, with Kevlar, does come in black. So I will be buying one of those, and when I do, I'll do a review of that one. But that one is just basically denim with, um, with uh, uh, Kevlar inside, okay? However, so once again, if you're going to buy the, Cov the Scorpion Covert Pro jeans, buy true to size, buy your ex normal size. If you don't, you're going to look like a clown. And yes, it is tight around the waist, but you know what? Suck it in, okay? Suck it in. And if you're going to buy the Scorpion Covert, not the Pro, then buy one size bigger. So the Covert uh, Pro is about 150 bucks. The non-Covert is about 120 Okay, just FYI on that. So you can also tell by the price which one you're looking at, okay? So anyway, that's a great pair of jeans. Let's uh, do a little posing here. And I highly recommend buying them. Um, I, the, oh, the only other thing too I want to make a comment about is these things do not breathe at all, okay? So like if you're in a warm temperature, like say you're in Arizona, Texas, something like that, um, you know, in the summer, you're probably going to feel some heat because I wore these a few. I've worn them a few times, <clears throat> and I've noticed that if I if a, if it's a hot day or a warmer day, I really feel like these. There is no air circulation going through these puppies. So you know, if you're by the beach or it's a cold day, then that's fine. If you're living up in Oregon or you're in uh, Maine or you're in Europe, maybe in Sweden or something, then these jeans will be great because they can handle the cold and they keep you nice and warm. But if you're in a hot temperature, uh, I would maybe recommend buying the Covert, the non-pros, the regular Covert, because these just don't breathe. I'll be honest with you. So I live in Los Angeles. Right now it's still winterish, so it's not too bad, but I'm sure in summertime I'll be feeling the heat, uh, the body heat, as they say. So anyway, there's... Uh, you know, check them out. You know, pretty cool jeans. So they got this, uh, like, I don't know, like a little scorpion thing here on the side. Scorpion. And they have like an S or lightning bolt or something down there. Um, so I'm going to do one more. I'm going to switch to my Chippewa boots just because I did have somebody email me really wanting me to wear the Chippewa, Chippewa boots. I don't normally wear my Chippewa boots um, too much when I uh, ride because they don't have much tread. But you could look at my boot reviews about that. But I'm going to put it on so in case you want to know what it looks like, okay? Give me one second. Okay, so I have now put on the Chippewa High Shines. As you could tell, they're shiny. And if you saw my boot review, you already know about the boots. But uh, I just put them on because uh, some people seem to like the Chippewas better than the West Coast, even though I think the West Coast are way better boots. But... These are still nice. They, they got the shine and everything. And I do still like the Chippewas. I don't really use them when I ride, though, too much because I have occasionally, but uh, I just find the Chippe uh, the West Coast are way better boots for riding. Or I ride with my Dingoes because they're also good for riding. Um, I just find the Chippewas, I don't know, maybe because it is shiny. I don't know. It just doesn't feel like I have good control of the bike when I wear them. The funny thing is, my mother was visiting me a couple weeks ago and she said oh you got these tall boots she goes they're like policeman boots and i said yeah they kind of are and she said oh this one's shiny just like a police motorcycle uh, off, uh rider and but you know the ironic thing is i don't know how many of you people are, are where you're living at but i've noticed that motorcycle cops are not wearing tall boots as much as they used to as a matter of fact i see a lot of them with short almost like hiking shoes and I'm thinking it's because they don't, most of them don't ride Harleys anymore. And you wore these big tall boots to protect you from the heat of the engine on a Harley because a Harley is not air-cooled. And also because of your crash and stuff like that. 
But now they're all riding BMWs, BMW motorcycles, which I think, if memory serves right, are liquid cooled. So thereby, they don't need these big tall boots. And I've noticed that. So I think the tall boot trend with police officers is fading away. So, which is, I find disappointing because, as I've mentioned in my boot review, tall boots must continue to live on, and men must wear tall boots. You know, I love tall boots. What can I say? But anyway, this is not a boot review. This is a jean review. So go out and buy the Scorpion Covert Pros. They're great jeans. Just keep in mind that you got to get them true to size. And they are very hot. So, like, if you try to ride in the warm temperatures, you will feel the heat, okay? But if you're in a cold area, no problem. And if you're going to buy the covert, uh, Scorpion Coverts that are not pros, and that's the one that's about $120, then that one, yes, you want to get one size bigger. All right, so that's it with this review, and I'll talk to you later. Take care.